Namaste. As of today, the death toll of Palestinians have reached over 30,000, which includes women and children, journalists, and aid workers. The war has primarily fought in the Gaza Strip, but has extended across the region to include skirmishes with Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, and Yemen. While the USA and its Western allies have supported Israel's invasion of Palestinian territories, the well-wishers of Palestine who object to the ethnic cleansing and genocide of the Palestinians have so far committed their support to help Palestinians resist the genocide upon them through the use of internationally recognized instruments and institutions accepted by the League of Nations. This conflict has been ongoing since October 7, 2023, and has resulted in a significant loss of life. While Israel depends on financial and strategic support from the USA and its allies, it also expects their moral support and justification for its genocidal aims against the Palestinians. The clique of Western nations would, by nature of their alliance, provide Israel with their support. On the other hand, Palestine, being a member of the Arab League, would also naturally expect the League support against aggression and human rights abuses when inflicted by in external aggressors. But what we have seen is the wishy-washy and less than committed actions taken by the Arab League members to support Palestine in its time of conflict. Governance. The Arab League organization's primary objectives are to promote economic, cultural, and political cooperation among its members and to safeguard their independence and sovereignty. In terms of safeguarding the independence and sovereignty of the Palestinian nation, the members' actions have made it clear that the Palestinian issue has remained on their back burner since 1967 for reasons of their own. However, at this point, after the resumption of hostilities against the Israeli apartheid regime on 7th October 2023, some member states have been actively engaged in negotiating a peaceful conclusion to the war against Hamas and the people of the Palestine. However, this effort does not include providing financial or technical support either directly or through proxy to the Palestinians, but only through the negotiations being brokered. The quality of negotiations entirely dependent on the strength of the governments managing the negotiations and their ability to resist the machinations and manipulations of those negotiating, thereby remaining objective and unbiased. Although a very complex knot to unravel, the core objectives and strategy of maintaining an agreed course of action are critical throughout this process. The wealthier partners in the Arab League who have volunteered to broker negotiations between Israel and Palestine are Qatar, Egypt, and through the United Nations. The International Court of Justice has also been requested for their opinion as to the legality of the conflict and its verdict on the impact on human rights, thanks to South Africa. While this bureaucratic wrangling goes on at multiple levels, the Palestinians faced genocide by Israeli forces. The Arab League comprises 22 member states, each with its unique political system and governance. As per the governance indicators used by the World Bank for all Arab League member countries, we find Qatar, Saudi, UAE, followed by Bahrain, Kuwait, and Jordan are the few members who have better control over each of the governance indicators than the rest of their partners. However, when seen as a collective, most of the member states are corrupt with ineffective governments, are politically unstable and violent, have ineffective laws and regulations, and are authoritarian and ruled by the privileged few. Thus, much like the USA's self-interest, the tardiness of actions taken by the Arab League members appears to be revealing their own self-interest. Members by GDP. The organization's primary objectives are to promote economic, cultural, and political cooperation among its members and to safeguard their independence and sovereignty. Most of the Arab League members are petroleum producing countries and are rich primarily due to its natural resource. 
As illustrated, they all have high gro gross domestic product. They're rich countries. The Arab nations have invested well in the creation of the Arab League, whose mission is concentrated mainly on economic, cultural, and social programs for member states. In 1964, the Arab League Educational, Cultural, and Scientific Organization, Alexo, was established while the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development was created to encourage investment of public and private capital in Arab economies, granting loans on easy terms to governments and both public and private institutions for projects of specific interest to Arabs. The fund also aids technical expertise in various economic fields. Also, in 1976, the League upgraded the PLO observer status to full membership. However, the Arab League faces several challenges in effectively supporting Palestine, some of which are the League's reluctance to extend Palestinians their political and economic support and a fear of being overwhelmed by them on their migration, a block to normalization of the relationship with Israel by some member states, a lack of and slow reaction from the Arab world on the genocide of Palestinians, and the failure to condemn ties with Israel that are contrary to maintaining regional peace. Despite the recent lukewarm show of support for the Palestinian cause, the Arab League's collective actions have not always shown the decisiveness and commitment required of a partnership as indicated by the League's stated commitments. 